Hey guys, Skinboy3800 here. Once again, we are back in Beam, and today is the release day of CRC. Yep, it's a little bit earlier than intended. It actually released uh, the 30th instead of the 1st of October, September 30th. It's out right now. If you haven't downloaded it already, what are you doing? Yep. These are all the bodies in this update. We're going to be going over all of them and some of the changes since the last beta videos you may have seen. And we're going to start off with Avenger. Take a look at how good this truck looks. All the trucks in this pack look absolutely phenomenal. And that's because they're using the new physically based rendering for materials. So every time you load up a truck, it physically draws out each and every texture. It looks so much better. It's unbelievable how well this mod looks now. Got Avenger here at the pipe stacks. They look amazing, of course. All the models and everything look spectacular as well. Got a three-speed gearbox. And uh, this will be new for pretty much everyone. The suspension is way more breakable than before. I won't call it fragile, but I'll call it way more breakable. So you'll be able to break four links, you'll be able to break steering, you'll be able to break... Uh, the actual clean off if you have a hard enough impact. It's insane how amazing the damage model is now. Of course, this damage model originally brought into CRD 2.5 betas. CRD 2.5 is not out right yet, but I hope that won't be too much longer. But for now, you can get a preview of it with CRC that is out right now on the BeamMonsters.com website. Next, I want to take a look at, the, look at the flags, because flags have had a major total overhaul. We now have many individual flag slots here for center flag. Let's take a look at what this one is. The center flag is your typical regular flag. Here it is just a checkered flag. It is, however, revamped from CRD. If we go to the flag, we have an additional slot beneath it. Look at this. We now have selectable, skinnable flags. Take a look at this. We can make the flag whatever we like, from default checkered, the steps, to the American flag, to any other option you saw in that drop-down menu. The flag itself looks pretty good. It can still be a little bit beam and g buggy like that no big deal i want to i actually haven't tested the flags in like forever i want to test and make sure that they break properly uh, it's likely that they're totally fixed but it's also likely that beam and g is beam and g and they're not totally fixed either way this revamp is well well worth the wait i think because everyone's wanted selectable flags since forever uh i can't even see where the flag went so i'll call that a draw i can't tell if that's better or worse However, of course, you saw more than just the one flags. Got a flat flag. Yep, that's right. Avenger and a flat flag at World Finals. And here we got to hear it. Does clip the wheelie bar, but there's nothing we can do about that, I don't think. And once again, we can get the flat flag to say whatever we like, so we can let that say Lucas Oil. There we go. Look at that. That flag there took a long time for Mike Bev to get perfect. And you can see it flaps and waves very good. There's still more flags though. Yep, I gotta show them all. Because I'm, I'm in this deep, I can't not show them all. Let's just do the other two right off the bat here. So we got the regular center flag, right? But we also had like dual flags or like left and right. Take a look at this. Now we got four flags hanging off the back of Avenger here. A little bit insane. 
Just go for the American flag on this one. And you can go for Sam's Town black flag there. And now we have all the sponsors. We've got Lucas Oil. We've got Steps Towing. We've got Sam's Town. We've got Good Old America sponsoring us as well. And of course, all the bodies will have similar slots. This is going to be very, very cool indeed. Now, of course, if some bodies like encapsulate part of the chassis of the flag would mount, I'm not sure it would have that slot. For instance, I'm not sure all bodies will have the uh, rear flat flag like this. We can try it though. But yep, that's that so far. Looking very, very good. Let's go into the interior view and see here all the gauges and stuff work right. The shadows on this map are not good, so don't yell at the truck for that. That's just the map being odd with its shadows. They're so odd. In fact, I'm just going to delete the shadows so that they don't make the truck look awful. Never mind. This is a track that actually requires shadows. Thank you, game. But yeah, if we were on a map that we could see the inside with, that would be quite spectacular. Got the green headlights too. If you turn on the headlights, they will come on. Let's take a look at the next truck here, the next body style. We've got the axe. This is quite cool indeed. Got the very skinny front nose. Someone brought up the cool fact that if we put on the front fenders, we essentially have blacksmith. And I said, hey, you're right, get on that. Yep, axe looking good. Again, we've got different headers. These are different from the stacks on Avenger. These are like cut off, be even louder. Of course, you do still have a lot of the regular headers that are on CRD as well. But of course, everything about this mod is rendered into PBR rendering. So even the old headers will look amazing on this mod. I think Wrecking Crew in the yellow truck over there has Magnaflow, so we can can't take a look at how they look nowadays, just to see. Axe here, looking really good, driving really good as well. And just leave you there. Next up, we got the classic Brutus. There's a few skins for this body as well. There's a ton of skins for the Bel Air body. We're not going to go over every single one of them. We don't have that kind of time today. I did take a look at basically every single one of them in a beta form, in a beta video. Uh, like five days ago. It's hard to think how much uh, has been done to this mod in just five days. Like back then it didn't have body supports. Uh, transmission had no texture and other odd bugs like that. It's all already fixed. Amazing work. Different tires here, of course, they look very reflective, very high quality. And believe it or not, they're actually using the exact same textures as CRD. They're just rendered differently. You can see that if you load up side by side a truck on CRC with BKTs and a truck on CRD with BKTs. Look at the tires closely. They are the same texture. They're just looking different. Brutus was one of the bodies here that had a last minute update before it got released. Got the ears properly breaking, pretty sure as I should be. Uh, I saw something weird with the rear tailgate supports, but I think the tailgate was just coming loose, so that's no big deal. One of my famous claims to fame is I did do the three-speed gearbox, and so far that's been getting really high praise, so thanks for everyone who's been enjoying the work there. 
And thanks to everyone in general who's been enjoying everything on the Beam Monsters website. It's been a long time coming. I don't know what I did to the front end here. It's not very happy with me right there. Purpurous. Next up, we got Wrecking Machine, and yep, this truck does have Magnaflows on it. You can just see they definitely look different from the regular CRD Magnaflows. So high quality, everything in this mod. I really do hope that in the future, CRD will look this good. It's a possibility, but it'll take time. I wouldn't call it a CRD 2.5 update, I would call it like a CRD 3.0 or 3.1 update. Because it's just that big of a change. Everything needs to be changed over. There's a nice flip. But yeah, that is the CRC mod. Everything about this mod is insanely high quality, insanely well done. And you know, you gotta give the props to the artist and the modelers, both from the original Rigs of Rods models and the new models that were brought in by Bobcat. All the amazing skins and textures by Jedi Presence and Zack. And of course, M-Jam for doing the J-Beam. All of them had a huge role in this. So give it up to all of them by going and downloading and leaving a great review. I hope you all enjoyed this mod as long as I have. I'll see you all in the future. Goodbye, everybody.